Welcome back to the Selling Singapore Talk Show guys. Recently, we've been getting a lot of requests with regards to how the market has been performing. So this week, we're going to do a Q1 2021 market analysis and walk you through it. Okay, so let's start with the general market trend across all non-landed residential across all districts. So if we're looking at January 2021, then the average price per square feet is $1,563 per square foot and the total sales volume is 3,301 units. Then if we look at February, the average price is $1,511 per square foot and total sales volume is 1,889 units. Then we look at March, and March has an average price per square feet of 1,762 PSF with a total number of sales volume at 2,627 units. So if you just look at this quarter itself, it looks like the overall volume is tumbling, but the price per square feet is actually climbing. Now let's look at what's causing it. If we look into January's transactions, we will find that you have three major volume surges caused by the launch of Nomentum Park, Park Central Residences and the Reef at Kingstock. So Nomentum Park is at the top of the list, transacting 625 units at an average of price per square feet of 1,762. Then looking into February, this tree continued to top the charts just that this month, the Reef takes the lead with 100 units transacted at an average of 2,274 PSF. Then in March, we see Midtown Modern launching into first place with 369 transactions at an average of $2,775 per square feet. And we see the usual performer Treasure at Tampines at 77 units with an average PSF of $1,401 per square feet. And then there's also RV Altitude transacting an equal 77 units at an average price per square feet of 2,677. So now let's pull out and look at a 10 year period. And as you can see in this chart, the average price trend is tagging the ceiling of the upper channel at around $1,620 per square feet range. And in March 2021, it's breaking through into a never seen before market high of $1,762 per square feet. So if you've been liking this analysis so far, please smash the like button and feel free to subscribe to our channel and we'll keep bringing you such quarterly analysis. And if you want to make this a frequent thing, then comment into the comment section below and ask us for monthly or bi-weekly, whatever is your preference. Okay, now let's dive into the other segments and let's start with the HDB. In the last three months, this is how the market has performed. In January 2021, the average price per square feet is $461, the volume is 2,478. In February, the average price per square feet is $468 and volume is 2,150. So for March 2021, the average PSF is $473 and the total volume is 2,422. Now let's pull out into the three year time period and you can clearly see that the market was running into a range between a low of $412 per square feet to $428 per square feet and finally broke out and the price per square feet started to run in August 2020 from $429 PSF to $474 PSF today. So the volume has been holding a never seen before high of above 2,000 units every single month since June 2020 last year up to the date. And we think this was caused because the circuit breaker came to a stop in June. So we feel the market has been driven by a need for space and that has been causing the surge of volume ever since the COVID circuit breaker. So now let's look at the landed segment. So in January, you have a average PSF of $1,318 per square feet and the total number of units is 269 units. Then in February, your average PSF is $1,389 per square feet and the total number of units is 227. So in March, you have $1,372 average PSF and a total sales volume of 283. 
If we zoom out to a three-year time frame, we can see that across the past five months, prices have been recovering since it hit the low of 1192 PSF in October last year. Volume-wise, let's zoom out to a 10-year period and you'll see that since the 10-year low in the lockdown period last year, May 2020, volume has been steadily climbing back into the monthly 200s range and a range that we've never seen since June 2018. So that pretty much sums up the residential market. And on a whole, the market is actually positive with price trending up and volume being very healthy. So I hope this video has been useful to you and if you're interested for us to do any other segment of analysis and deep dive into any portion, then let us know in the comments section below and we'll be more than happy to do so. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore and I'll see you in the next video.